My prince, if you continue allowing Belinda to have this close conversation with the princess, um, it's not nice. Why? Would you say that, huh? Asan is my sister. She is your sister and she is not interested in what we are doing. In fact, she called me and practically ordered me to stop you from pursuing this noble objective. Why did you not stop me? Oh, come on, my queen. Do not joke with this thing. It is very serious. If you continue allowing her to discuss freely, she may end up convincing her to undermine what we are doing. No. Not Belinda, I trust her absolutely. If there's anyone who would talk one out of their conviction, it will be Belinda, not the other way around. So relax. Okay, if you say so. Back to the main issue. What are we going to do to that idiot that proposed to Belinda? Should we not send boys to set his castle at least? We do that and we would have succeeded in reducing ourselves to his level. We cannot leave him to get away with this insult. I mean, who is he to propose to a woman that is engaged to the crown prince of Umungene? I, I, I feel like slapping his mouth. That guy is not only dumb, he's equally stupid. Forget him, Ndului. The man is already a loser. That reminds me. Yes. There is a man we need to see. Is that so? Who? I am surprised at myself that I did not remember him all this while. Chief, you won't know. I could your fault. Where is this weapon one of Umungene Kingdom? One man riled God. Something in me tells me that he is the one we need. I know him. My father used to talk to me a lot about him when he was alive. But I understand that he lives in Gabon. Yeah, I know he has been around. He is the one who bought the NMPC gas station. Renovated it and the man is not doing badly at all. I am not happy you're disrespecting your parents just because of a man. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you are this classless. So you mean you want me to leave my own man and marry a man who's a fraudster? Please. The same man you're calling a fraudster is going to emerge the king of this kingdom and he's going to rule over you. What's my business? He's already your own. He might as well be your king. Oh, you already know he's going to be the king of this kingdom and you're still refusing his proposal. Because he was never my man and he's still not my kind. If you're so obsessed with him, why don't you just go to his house, I'm sure you know where it is, and offer yourself to him. And please, spare me the sermon. <laughs> well, I've always known the prince to be a man of many sides. Meaning what? He's into charms, and that is why he's trying to introduce paganism. Excuse you? Maybe he has used one of his charms to cage your spirit. That is the only thing that can make me see you talking like a fool here. Says a fool who cannot read in between lines, calling another a fool. Don't let me switch it on you. <laughs> His Serene Majesty, <laughs> Prince Ikedi Gipo of Umungane Kingdom, I am indeed delighted with this visit of yours to my place today. <laughs> Thank you very much, Obwefi. I uh, must also say that I am well pleased with the reception that you have given wow. to me. <laughs> Given the fact that you're a very busy man, you know, um, running the petrol and oil uh, business is no easy feat at all. Mm. Uh, but you have decided to put everything on your schedule on hold so that you can attend to me. 
Owefi. That I do not take for granted. I will not forget. My prince, please, you don't need to stand that way. <laughs> you don't owe me anything. I am actually the one that owe you a whole lot. Already you have humbled me with the plans you have. Mm -hmm. But I, I must have to tell you, it is not going to be easy. I even have a reason to believe that they will make an attempt. They will try to make an attempt on your life. Oh boy, if he... You know, my friend, Dundulue, he said something like that to me. But what worries me is why would anyone make an attempt at my life? Because I'm standing up for the truth. No, the truth that you are trying to restore happens to be the very one they believe they have suppressed permanently. I always knew it, that a day like this will come. When that same truth will be staring at us. I'm just so glad that you are doing this. But I must have to tell you, here and now, that you have my support. And should I tell you the truth, that my support is very rooted and solemn. <laughs> solemn and rooted, Wafi. I know exactly what that means, Wafi. Because you are the only answer in our land that went through the original process <laughs> of initiation to become a prestigious part of the Zenozo. And that means that you are ahead of these men in spirituality and sanctity. And the very truth you are trying to restore actually is the very definition of holiness hmm. in this part of the world. Ikedini, I'm going to take you to some places. Some very sacred places in our land. Places where you are going to pray. Places where you can commune easily with our ancestors. That prayer is going to place you above those men in the spiritual realm. Ikedini, I am going to expose you to the real meaning Thank you, Wifi. And though the spirit of my fathers, I know they are with me. Yeah, I get more a fuck with you. And who will be the king? And I'm a man. This place is actually a very sacred place in our kingdom. We call here Aja Niupu. This is where Ozongene, our progenitor, was buried. And over the years, we have used this tree as a contact to reach to him anytime we want to communicate with him. That is why we are here. This is wonderful. Ike Dinebo, you are going to pray a very simple prayer here. I want you to tell Ozongene what you are planning to do in his land. And I want you to ask him what you want him to do for you. Trust me, he is going to hear you, for he has never disappointed. And now the spirit of my fathers I know they are with me I can't hurry I fall and I don't want to be a little change they know I'm a pain I will never give it up I will never give it up what's wrong with you? 
Ozon Gale, my great progenitor, I am here to seek your help. For I seek to establish the truth in your Mongene kingdom. Zenozo has been bastardized to a point where it is now seen by everyone as a mere chief tense title that can be conferred on just anybody. Ozongene. Nyelanya Kamakanifene, maybe. Liars, pretenders, betrayers, adulterers. And even them drubbers now parade themselves around town as prestigious members of the Zenozo group. Why? Also, you know that it is not right. Help me become the king of Umungene Kingdom, and I vow to you right here and now that I shall restore the ancient ritual of Ikamanile. The marking on the tongue of the initiate and making sure that the blood drops on the sacred stone. It is our way, it is our cultural heritage. Also, help me. The man who will never allow evil to triumph over the truth. I brought him here because I know what he represents. Please, do this for him and I vow on my honor that I'm going to present a cow to be offered on this altar in appreciation for what you have done for us. Also, I shall add to it by making it two cows. Do this which I ask you to help me with and I vow to you again that I shall come here on this altar with a cow. Ozongene This again is one of the sacred places we have in Umungene Kingdom. This place is called Ubimwako. The spirits that keep watch over the truth, they reside here. In fact, this was the place the last man was killed. The man, he took bribe. And then he lied, he did not take bribe, he died on the spot. I brought you here because you are embarking on an important mission. Mission for the truth. It is only important for you to stand here and make a statement of truth. In the humility of my heart, I ask the ancient spirits of Obimwako the same spirits that killed the liar on the spot to guide me as I embark on this mission 
to restore the truth in Omungana. Help me. For I want to restore the glory of Unzenozo in Omungana. So that when a member of the prestigious and Zenozo group speaks, it shall be taken as the truth. And nothing but the truth. Just as it was in the days of old. Grant me this request. And just like I promised that Aja and Yuku. I shall return with a gift of a calf to say thank you. The spirits that keep watch over the truth, I am pleading with you to respond. Because it has never been recorded in our history that a man came before you to pray with sincerity of heart and you turned him down. You will always respond and when you respond, you respond in style. That is the same thing I am pleading with you to repeat. For this young man here, the prince of Umungane Kingdom, Ikedidibo, who is seeking to restore truth in a woman in a kingdom. I know you will do it for him. Usta de Vamma, Odeo Juanibu, I beseech all the spirits of the ancestors, the spirits of truth, guide us in this process of establishing the truth. And as he said, we are going to come back to say thank you for what you have done for us. You did so well by leading him to the right place. Yeah, welcome, Obuefi. We use a Thank you. Will this offer? Offer, Gume. The Zenozo title is being confirmed in the whole of Fumungene Kingdom. Without this, there is no Zenozo. But these days, a lot of things have gone wrong. People go about buying titles with money. They give you money, they are conferred with the title of Zenozo, and they go about parading themselves as Zenozo for real, yet they are not. I'll tell you this. On this mission, this sacred mission of yours, May the gods go with you. You say? Even if, if he comes, may they not get you. You say? say. Evil may come through left, right, or center, but will never, never get to you. You say? Doors will always guide and protect you. And may evil never will evil triumph over the forces of truth. You say? <clears throat> I'm not here for drinking and merriment. It's obvious we are not making any headway. No, 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 no. Drink it. It's very good. It will open up your boil. See, I'm not here for drinking and merriment. Zobiora, we are not making any good headway. Sandy, seriously. Bothering me, Oguano Chesi, Tanzanozo Naba, Passing our wadding, I was a little too. Uh huh. 
I would be needing one more help from you, please, if you don't mind. And what is it? Um, you see, my sister, um, Asanze, the princess, is not on our side. She does not um, agree with what we're doing. I have done my best in convincing her that there's a lot of truth and light in what we're doing, but she remains adamant. And I'm thinking that as a respected figure that you are, Uwefi, in Omongele, that if you approach her and talk to her, she will listen. Well, I don't think you will blame your sister. She is a woman. And unfortunately for us women in our part of the country, they are the most vulnerable when it comes to the manipulation of organized religion. <laughs> oh, boy, if we, I must say that you have a way with words. <laughs> the manipulation of organized religion, you have summarized it all. That is what you Because face. to Asanze, everything that we're doing right now is paganism. Unfortunately. Uh, well, um, <laughs> your sister should be the least of your worries now. But don't worry, just go. I will find time, come to the palace and talk with her. I trust you, Wifi. I will. Thank you very much. You get the Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, they're gonna... The quality gonna... The Thank you. You get the I'll be in touch. Okay, Thank you. Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I gather is that you don't even know what has been happening since morning. What is happening here? In this our Omungene kingdom, the prince and Obuefi uh, have been moving around since morning till now. Uh, what is he doing with that evil man? It's obvious. It's obvious that Siwepaiwo uh, has been using the prince against us. Because he doesn't want to associate with us, he doesn't come for our meetings, he, he calls us fake Zenozo title holders in Umungene. Can't you, can't you, can't you see the link? <laughs> then, he is becoming clear that he is fighting a lost battle. Exactly. B battle to ridicule the Zenozo in Umungene kingdom. Yeah, 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 uh, let us drink up uh, before the week runs out, I will see what to do. Are you assuring me you will do something? Ah! Eh? I'm joking. Oh, nigga. Those who don't know what I have done so far might think I am not really doing anything. He has made up his mind to mind his business. So have I also made up my mind to mind my own business and face my problems. Exactly. What must I do? Wait, bro. Please, my brother just arrived. I'm going to call you back much later. Um, How was your day? Great. Some men were here earlier to see you. Your supporters, I guess. Yes, they called me and I promised... Um, to see them tomorrow. Ikedini, but what is wrong with you? When will you stop this madness? Oh, you're actually waiting for your fingers to get burnt before you do the right thing? Fingers of liars. Asanze. Fingers of men who subvert the cause of justice will get burnt. Not mine. Where did you go today? Does he ever occur to you that this man might make an attempt on your life? Let that be my headache. Hmm? Oh. He's so stubborn. What must I do?
Yes, how are you today? I'm fine, sir. I come to see the princess. Where is she? She is in the living tray. Living room three? Yes, sir. Thank you. So, when are you going to buy all those things you promised? You are going to give to me what you promised me, right? Seems as if I interrupted something. Oh no. Um, you, you did not interrupt anything at all. Um, just sit down. Um, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, young man. How are you? I'm very well, sir. Um, babe. Uh, I'll see you before the week runs out, okay? Alright. Well, I am sorry about that. I met a guard outside who directed me to living room three. It is obvious he's not aware you are in, in the middle of something. No, 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 Ichie. I actually am not in the middle of anything. It was actually nothing. Um, you're welcome, please. I would really love to offer you something. Just have a seat. And please do not say no because my father held you on high esteem. No, no, no. I am actually insisting that you don't have to bother yourself. I am mm -hmm. not here for cola or whatever you may want to offer. Specifically, I came to speak with you regarding your brother. My brother? Yes. What about him? He needs your support. I don't know why you are not taking this thing as serious as you should as the princess of Omongana Kingdom. That young man is not just your brother. He is your blood. You have to support him. Not on this case, Obuefi. I mean, I would do no such thing. Why? For crying out loud, I am a Christian and a very dedicated one at that. I cannot support pagan practice. Really? Yes. Really. Should I remind you that what you are saying of yourself equally goes for your brother? He is equally a Christian. No, I am a child of God. And do not drum that into my head as if there is anybody around here who is a child of the devil. Nobody is a child of the devil. All of us believe in Chukwokeka Biyama. We pray to him and we believe in his supremacy. Don't be telling me all this about Christian. I'm a Christian. I am this. I am that. I can see how good a Christian you are. By consistently bringing your boyfriend into the palace where your father was buried. They'll be doing whatever nonsense he's doing with you. Let me, let, let me just ask you, Asanze. Is that how a good Christian should be behaving? And what sort of stupid question is that? What was the meaning of this? Are you here to interrogate me or what business uh, do you have with my private life? I, I am not interrogating you. I am just making an empirical statement based on what I have just seen. Listen to me. I am not just here as an elder. I am here as a very good friend of your late father. And I, I come to tell you something that is very important. You have to give your brother that support that he needs because he cannot get it from our side. You are the one that should be giving him that support. I don't understand all this, Ichi. Did you actually come here on your own or my brother paid you to come and say all this nonsense to me? It is an insult for you to stand before me and allege that I was paid by anybody to come and say what I'm saying. I am here in my individual capacity and I came to tell you what you are supposed to hear. And I want you to listen. Listen. Leave, I, I, leave all this your, I am a Christian, I am a child of God, I am whatever, nonsense. It does not just make sense. 
if I were to be a woman, without being all these things you are saying, there is no way I would have actually allowed any man to come into my father's compound to be touching me inappropriately in the same compound where the remains of my father was lowered. Enough. Enough, Chief. I mean, what's all this? Listen, I've got respect for you. And if you do not shut your mouth, I will lose it. Hey, you can as well lose it for all I care. That is not why I am here. I am here to talk to you because I am the one who can talk to you. Your brother needs your support. And I want you to give him that support. The gods and the ancestors of this kingdom are already supporting him. And you can equally start supporting him. Giving him that support is not going to cost you anything. And let me tell you something. There are things we have in this kingdom that are superior to whatever religion you are sampling. I want you to ponder on these words. Asanze. God. It is so obvious. The princess, your sister, she has turned into something else. Sincerely, I am not impressed with the position I found her with her boyfriend when I, when I came in. This matter that you have just raised is almost beyond me. I have constantly spoken to her about. I have told her, you cannot do things like this in the palace. And she tells me to mind my business. I say, no, this is not about you and I now. If this is the young man that you love with all of your heart, get him to get his people. I will give you out in marriage. Get married. Let him take you home. You cannot. This is a secret palace. But my sister tells me to mind my business. Well, I think the best thing you have to do now is to ignore her. Asanze, from what I've just seen, is going to be a huge distraction. And you don't need any distractions. Now. You don't. True. 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 I, I see your point. And, um, Obwefi, I'll do as you've said. And if, if anything comes up, just call me. You can count on that. Okay, then. Dalo, have a blessed day. Thank you. You know, I wish I could <laughs> describe what you look like right now. What is the meaning of this nonsense? It is not nonsense, Asa. That man that just left I, here. I, 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 I will not have you in such if you will not. I could do for you. You will be a fee, see where poor or for king. The only authentic Zenozo in Umongene. You know what that man represents and you must respect him. Really? Oh yes. I should respect a man that disrespects me? Can you hear yourself speak? Now listen to me, Ikedimbo. I do not ever want to see that man in this palace again. I don't want to. Asanze, have you started smoking weed? I have not started smoking anything. That 
crazy man came to this palace and insulted me simply because he saw Martins and I. What right does he have? What right? What that man told you is the same thing that I have been telling you over time. Is that not so? Nobody should tell me anything. I mean, no one has that right. Who is he? Who is he to tell me to support your fetish plans? Who? What he saw you doing in the palace, was it right? No, it was not. I've admonished you countless times and also told you, if Martins is the man you want to spend the rest of your life with, you love him enough, let him come and marry you. The palace is a sacred place. You cannot keep putting up that kind of dirty act here. I won't have that young man come and desecrate the palace at all times. It is not nice. Okay, Jimmy, well, you don't have any right whatsoever to tell me what to do with my life. Now, what that man who has been deceiving you, if I face him in this town, that his gas station will go up in flames. <laughs> As far as I am concerned, this meeting is unscheduled. But I am still prepared to bring you in into my house and offer you cola as men of my land. Why have you decided to stand outside? Of course, we political men of Fumunga cannot schedule a meeting with a man like you. And how is a man like me described, if I may ask? Very, very mischievous. Daily, daily. Very crafty, owl, oh, crooked, uh, thoroughly, and that is why you can hardly get along with any man in this kingdom. Yes. Most times, when I listen to men who parade themselves as the political heads of my own kingdom, I begin to wonder why in this world will God allow men a very long time to perpetuate evil? Why? <laughs> what? We have still we power. We are not here to banter wars with you. As you can see, we are not here for a friendly visit. We are not. Information has reached us that you are the one poisoning the mind of the prince against us. Exactly. What the exactly are you hoping to achieve? Well, I am not actually under any obligation to respond to the conclusion of this presentation. Because the foundation was fallacious. <laughs> Absolutely fallacious. <laughs> <laughs> But I will respond. Do you know why? Because I want to end this nonsense meeting and have you men out of my compound. Ah, mind. Just mind the kind of words you use against us here. Yeah. Mr. Shijoke, please. Do you actually think you are qualified to speak to the man like me? How dare you refer to me as a mister? I'm, I am insane. You are not any insane in Umungana Kingdom. Because there was never any ceremony where the priest of whom I'm going to make a mark on your tongue as an Inzenozo says you men are politicians and I am supporting the prince because he has decided to restore that which you men stole from our land are you not aware that you are already excommunicated from Inzenozo group and who are the people that excommunicated me from the Inzenozo no, can you possibly excommunicate somebody from a group that you, you, you are not even a member you men are not even members of the Inzenozo group Hey. What happened was that you excommunicated me from your political gathering, from your political party, and in all honesty, I am not even bothered at all. Hey. Okay? see what Don't say we did not warn you. Disobey this order. And then discover what deadly petition can do. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Mamou, 
Uh, uh, listen, I want you to continue in what you are doing. Do not ever relent. Because I'm already seeing light at the end of this tunnel. That thing you are doing, continue to do it. Seems like you are not interested in the position your father is pursuing. Says who? I like what he's doing. I am interested, but I like to operate from a remote position. <laughs> Edmond, Edmond. A remote position, you see. What does that mean? <laughs> it means I am the son of my father. I stand with my father. We are going to clinch that position, and then you will know what I mean. I've discussed with my business partners. I am going nowhere. In fact, I will be here for even two years. <laughs> I want us to start the plans. I um, want to become the king immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, no, no. As you know, this will cost you money. Not just money. To mean few millions of naira. Onwa, this process will cost you tens of millions of naira. I'm ready to spend whatever that is required. I heard that the governor may soon commission the Omongere International Market. Yes. I want us to be in charge. That facility will yield millions of naira from daily contribution. I want us to be in charge. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to waste a million in this. For we have the structure on the ground and we have machineries set in motion. You are going to be the next king. There's no doubt about it. No contention. What we'll be discussing now is the main thing. Mm. Well, um, I'm interested in it. Define what you mean by the main thing, and we'll start discussing it. Zubiora, what will you do with Zubiora? Like the profit that will be coming from the daily collections from the international market. Mm -hmm. How do we share it? As in, are we going to be sharing daily, weekly, or monthly? Most importantly, we need to work out the sharing percentage now. Mm -hmm. How much goes to the king? How much goes to the elders and council? Mm -hmm. And how much goes to the president of the town union for the administration of the kingdom? <laughs> um, my elders, tell me what you have in mind. As you can see, I'm open for negotiations. To prove that, I will give each of you a million naira mm -hmm. today hey. huh? Huh? <laughs> to facilitate the process of the crowning. Oh my. <laughs> this is oh my. If you can do what you have just said, then be rest assured that every other underground move will be completed before the month ends. And the children. Yeah. Belinda. How are you? Good. Um, 
I gathered your parents have stopped you from coming to the palace to see the prince. What are you still doing here? My princess, the elders controlling the affairs of this kingdom, Nze Obiora, Nze Chijioke, and Nzake Kuchiyonwa are the ones manipulating this kingdom. Don't you think it's rather insulting to have yourself manipulated by them? Why are you turning the table on me? You are the one in center of the storm. All the questions are directed to you. I'm sorry, my princess. I am not at the center of any storm. These elders are the ones instigating this nonsense. They are trying to destroy your brother and we must not let them. No, Belinda. I totally disagree with you. My brother is the one trying to destroy himself. Oh, yes. So please, do not bring the helpless elders into this. I personally don't have any objection. I mean, Silas Ilo is a good man who knows how to spend money. At this time in our history, when we are going to make a lot of money from the international market, it will only be right for him to be the king. So why haven't you convinced your daughter to marry him as her husband? It is not a blessing in disguise. Let's allow him to marry a woman he can control. My daughter, who I cannot control, is too wild and having her as the queen will affect men in council. That is. Belinda will block you from even seeing her husband. That is exactly why we are no longer talking about Belinda. Onwa is going to emerge the king. And the, the elders in council will ensure that he has the kind of woman who respects the decision of elders as his wife. You think I'm making up this story? I am not a busybody, my prince. I am telling you what is happening. They are planning to make him the next king. I have told you that I am not bothered. Oh, you have to be bothered. Ike Dinibu, you have to be bothered. These elders are deadly politicians. And once they decide on anything, they hardly look back. Then let them go ahead. If they feel that they have what it takes to dislodge the gods of Omo and Gena Kingdom, so be it. Please, Ikedi Nibu, I am begging you. Call these elders and tell them that you have finally decided to allow things to continue being the way they are. And once you are made king, you can do whatever you want. Yes. The same lies that politicians tell the people all the time. Because they fear nothing. I'm not a liar. I'm not a deceitful person. I'm not going to get people behind me with lies. I'm an upright man. I tell them exactly what I am going to do once I ascend the throne. Can't you see that we are losing out already? If any, maybe. If any, maybe. Ndiloe, stop giving me an impression of an inconsistent man to you spoke to me about a wifey. See what Paolo, what happened to you? Yes, I was the one who introduced you to a wifey Siwe Paolo. But this has gone higher than him. It has. These politicians are deadly. We may wake up one morning and hear over the radio that Silas Ilo has been crowned the next king. Now tell me, how would you feel as a crown prince? And I will accept that the gods never wanted me to be king. But done with this discussion in Dilue. Enjoy the rest of your day. <sighs> Ike Dinibo, I like the response you gave your friend. If the gods are interested in this restoration you seek, they are going to do it their way. Yeah, oh boy, if that is what I believe. But my concern right now is that it looks like the gods are giving these men too much room to perpetrate their evil. That is the movement of the gods. That is how the gods function. I don't want you to get yourself agitated over nothing. Just calm down. 
even if it happens finally that today they crown Silas the king, don't get yourself agitated. Just calm down, keep silent, and watch what is going to happen. Buffy, I, I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Buffy, how does that even make sense? What? We are still meant to remain silent even if they go ahead to crown him king? It is one thing to crown somebody king. And another thing for that person to find subjects to govern as the king. Don't be agitated that I said that already. Allow the gods to do their thing. Learn to follow the gods. That has been my secret and I want you to learn it. <laughs> Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Kill it, kill it, can I go send an ayali? Oh, Kiyoko. Kill it, kill it, can I go send an ayali? Oh, Kiyoko. Must you? Must you? They're the gods. Why do you always talk tough? Even if you must talk tough everywhere, must you equally talk tough here? I am the owner of Umungene Kingdom. And, and nothing! Silas. Nothing. I am here in my capacity as the prince of Omungene Kingdom. Who understands how the gods move? To tell you, the royalty has nothing to do with having a beautiful house. What do you mean by that? Um. This is your first time coming into this compound. If you don't mind, let's go in so that I will offer you coffee. Silas, Hilo, I'm not interested in your hospitality. I am here to remind you that royalty is deeper than putting up a beautiful edifice. Kill your ambition to become king. For I am the heir to the throne of Omongene. You are the son of the late king. And as of today, I am the heir to the throne of Umungene Kingdom. It will happen before your eyes. I will become the king. And there is nothing you will do to stop me. Did you hear me? Silas. All the strong forces in Omongeda have come together already to make me king. They are just waiting for the right time to come so they can make it obvious to the people and the truth will reign supreme. Do not make yourself available to take my place. To backfire. Oh, Dogu came out to Aka. I said, No, Dogu came out to Aka, Prince. He can't even go. Jackie, why are you a native doctor? Omala, go. You need to go. Omala, go.
Boss, hmm? there is this intimidating aura that moves with him. Don't mind him. Hmm? Uh, he's in possession of all these uh, small, small charms. But don't mind him. In Polish, we call people like him Kruvamash. In Spanish, Putamatra. Do you know what it means? No, boss. Can somebody talk to the priest over What have you decided? It is my firm belief that you have changed your mind. Hit me with it. My princess, I have not changed my mind. I have made it clear to you that Ike Dinibo has vowed to see this to the end. He cannot stop and I feel we should support him. How much do you want? How much should I offer you to make him see reason? Is that how you see me, my princess? You really believe I am one of those men that could be paid and they will betray their own friends? Betray? How? I cannot possibly pay you to betray my own brother. I'm only asking you to help me talk to him for him to see reasons. For crying out loud, Ike Dinibo is destroying the land. No, he is not. He is actually doing a good job. And I feel we should support him. Support him. I will give you the sum of 500,000 Naira. Right now. Send your details to me and you will get the alert. I will not give you the room to start the bargaining because I know you will increase the offer to entice me. If you like, give me all the money in the central bank. I will not betray my friend. Support him for he needs your support. Do not call me again to the palace to discuss this. Have a nice day. really going on? He has surrounded himself with thy hard supporters and no one is even listening to me. I want it, Laura. You have to calm down and explain what is the problem. Can you imagine? Hmm? That useless prince came to my house to threaten me. What? I mean, is he alright at all? He said some forces have already made him the king. He said some forces have already made him the king. What exactly does that mean? It means nothing. Possibly something he created to get you agitated. Please, Oma, don't play into the hands of that rat. Don't. I'm a chair. I'm not playing into his hands. Who is he to get me agitated? But I'm afraid I will not take it the next time this happens. I will teach him the lesson he will not forget. You have my support, Omar. Deal with him anyhow you deem fit. Also, Umbago, Wagoya. Eh? If a cobra fails to rise and attack like a cobra, some people will conclude that it's an ordinary snake. If he told you that I said something about you, then he should be able to tell you exactly what I said. He did not tell me what you said, but I can assure you that he's not happy with what you said to him. Asa, please. 
please stop inviting people here to discuss me because I do not discuss you with anyone. That is because I have not done anything to compromise the integrity of the royal household or destroying the land. You have been the one doing that and I will continue to seek for help until I find one. Asans, stop seeking for help. I don't need help, I'm fine. I am here. I'm in control. And I'm fine. I went to Ajani, Uku, and Obimbako. I made my intentions for Omongene Nol. Also solicited for their help. My love, I believe that as far as this matter is concerned, I have crossed my teeth and dotted my eyes. If the gods would allow Silas Ilobi crown king, then I'll take it that they never liked the plans that I have for the people of Umongene. And I'll leave it at that and just move on with my business. <laughs> 